Hi, I'm Joe Thomas and welcome to Reel in the Outdoors. This week our series continues as I travel to northern Michigan to fish for big springtime smallmouth with the guy who knows it the best, upcoming tour pro Jerry Gosnick. And that's coming up next on Steel's Reel in the Outdoors. Jerry Gosnick is one of the hottest young pros on the Bassmaster Tournament Trail today, but he's also one of the busiest smallmouth guides in America. So when my phone rang and he said, hey Joe, the smallmouth fishing is on fire right now, we packed our stuff and we headed north. Oh, that's a nice fish, man. Good job, man. Right on those reeds, just like you're talking about. Oh, bring him over here. Look at him, he's hooked underneath. I'll get it for you. Yeah. There you go, dude. Beautiful fish. Right on those reeds, just like you're saying. We miss one and then turn around and catch another one. Joe, right that's our what, sixth bite? Yeah. First hook up there. They're, but they're just coming up and just, just nailing it. That one, that one's hooked on the trailer hook on the outside of the mouth, too. It's a beautiful Michigan smallmouth there. Good that, job, man. That fish, Joe, came out of these little isolated pencil reeds here. Right. You know, and actually those things are in the hard gravel, and where the reeds are growing, there's actually little soft spots, and that's what those smallmouth really like to spawn on up on these gravel the, banks. That soft there. area is what gives the, the reed something to root on. It right, a, 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 yep, that's exactly right. And uh, for some reason, they just love to make their nest on those things. It's just, a, just an excellent area to catch them. We've had, we missed that big one back there, and we caught this nice one here in them. Is this like a textbook springtime pattern <clears> up here? On, on any Michigan lake, I mean, you better be looking at the reeds and the bull rushes for smallmouth. I mean, that's just where they do their thing this time of the year. Thank you. Good job. There's one following your bait, Jerry. Look at him. He's following it. Right there he Ooh. is. Throw, throw the bait back in there. I didn't even see that, Good dude. Fruit. He followed it all the way almost to the boat. You know, a lot of times when they do that, and you don't, you don't want to get in there and disturb them. We'll just have to come back and get. There he is, right there. He just oh, flashed he on. Flashed it. on it. Yeah, he's definitely in there for sure. He's under. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. There he is. All Good right. One. Not a big one, but he, he was on cue. Look at the black spots on that sucker, Jerry. Yeah. Sometimes they get that little pigment uh, deal going with them. I mean, it's common. You see it on a lot of them, but that one, he looks pretty neat. Look at that. He's, look how blotched up he is. Looks like he's got oils, oil on him or something. That's awesome, man. All right, it's my turn, dude. I love that pink fluke, man. Just eat it like candy. That's one of my secret baits, Joe. Just an awesome, awesome bait for smallmouth when they're shallow. It's not a secret now. Not a secret <laughs> now, but it's... Uh, I've had a lot of guide clients laugh at me when I put that on their rod. Yeah. And by the end of the day, they're smiling. I'm gonna spin us back around. There's some fish in here, man. Yeah, we're finally getting going here. Yeah. You know, the sun's getting up a little bit. We, we can see, see what's going on. We can on. see a little better. But uh, again, that fish it was just textbook stuff. He came right yeah, off of this reed. little reed patch yeah. right here, and. Uh, most of the fish that we've been catching on this lake here, these either come off the reeds or just come off of the rocky points of the islands. That's where that's where they're all at right now. You know, the, all the smallmouth in this lake are shallow this time of the year. You know, it's I mean, a fun it's, time to fish for them. It's an easy time to catch them, great time to fish for them. If you can take it, go ahead. I think one biggest thing, Jerry, people don't realize is you've got to make long casts in the shallow, clear yeah. water. Clear water, it's always important to uh, to make long casts. And you know, another thing that's crucial out here is you've got to have polarized glasses. You take them off, and a lot of these fish are spawning on key little boulders and little tiny or dark, dark spots. spots. Yep. And if you don't have them on, right. you're you're fishing blind. Exactly. 
It amazes me the people that go out there and, and, and don't wear sunglasses, or if they do, they're not wearing polarized glasses, right. and they're just missing so much. Absolutely. And I, I know you wear amber or yep. yellow. I wear the amber. I think most of the pros do. I mean, it lights everything up, and especially for clear water fishing, it's just vital. Right. If you don't have them on, I mean, your catch rate's going to go down tenfold. Yeah, a lot I mean, of times, the fish that follow your bait, too, a lot of yep. times you see them. You gotta stop the bait or do something crazy, I agree. Man, it's just beautiful looking in I mean, this clean like, water like, like this. A, like fishing in a bathtub. <laughs> You'd never even think you could get a bite in this stuff. You got one with him? No. Well, that's a nice fish, man. Good one. Yeah. Man, he pounded that glue. A healthy one. You got, you got him? You want me to get him? Want to grab him, Joe? Yeah, you got it, man. No problem. Man, you got, they all got these black spots on their eyes. That's a trick right there, isn't it, dude? You told me, man. You told me that little pink bait was going to get him. Look how fat that She's spawning. Why? Set up Belly's getting thin. Right on those reeds. It's like textbook, textbook springtime smallmouth. We haven't even fished all of them right there either. Yeah, beautiful. Dude, it's my turn. I keep saying that. <laughs> I'll let you have one. There she went, Joe. You seen her go right back to look the at bed. That. Yep, she swam right back to those reeds. I gotta just look, okay? Just let me look. You, you can't. Textbook. Even, I know, but look, look it's that. so shallow. You, you'd think, man, there's no way. Wait till the sun gets up. There's no way a bass would be in there, and they just get right on the bases of those things and spawn. There's another one right there on the bed, Joe. Yeah, I see it. Okay, well, we kind of spooked them, so we'll move off a little bit and come back and five or ten minutes and just for you know you got to remember where that spot's at he's in that little back clump yeah, that's where i'm going to cast right, right guarantee I, i'm going to cast there yep. that's right okay all right yeah I'm, we'll I'm let you throw in there but all right man that that's a it's a done deal yeah. you know when they're shallow like that you're going to catch them exactly